Hello friends. In cantilever beam, we will now find out shear force and bending moment for uniformly varying load. A cantilever beam which carries uniformly varying load as shown in figure. At this free end it is 0 and at this end right or the fixed end it is 2 kN per meter. Now let us find out the shear force and bending moment and then we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams. Okay, the usual sign conventions. These are for positive values for shear force and bending moment. Right? Now the shear force. Let it be AB. Now I have to pass a section. I will pass a section. X from the free end. Right? Now for uniformly distributed load, the load is changed into point load by considering that as a rectangle. Here it is triangle. So, how to change into point load here? So, the point load will be acting at CG. So, if I take this x, from this end it is 2x by 3, from this end it is x by 3 distance and the point load will be passing through that and we know the area of triangle is going to give the shear force uh, the force uh, load value or the force value right now x is the base at this end it is 2 then I want this distance so at 4 meter it is 2 kN per meter at x meter what is this value let me call it y so using similar triangle also you will be able to find that so for 4 it is 2 for x it is y so y is what I have to find out so y equal to x by 2. So at x distance from free end, this distance is x by 2. So now area of triangle half in the x into x sorry x by so it is x square by 4. It is equal to x square by 4. So the external force is x square by 4. Or the uniformly varying load is changed into a point load. That point load is x square by 4. Now I will use the same Vx at x, x square by 4 because it is acting downward and it is parabolic. So at x equal to 0, v b equal to 0, at x equal to 4 meters, I am at a, so 4 square I am getting 4 kN. So now the bending moment. Mx. Right. Force into perpendicular distance. What is this perpendicular distance? X by 3. So clockwise negative x square by 4 
is the force perpendicular distances x by 3 it is x cube by 12 negative is cubic equation it is cubic at x equal to 0 mb equal to 0 at x equal to 4 meter I am at A and A is substituting and get if you substitute and calculate you will get 5.33 kilometer meter. Now let me draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams AB It is parabolic, okay. So at P it is zero, you have to get something like this. Parabolic, the value is four kilonewton. For bending moment, AB, it's going to be cubic equation, negative side. Cubic, negative. The value is 5.33. Is it clear? So when you have uniformly distributed load, the shear force diagram will have a linear variation and then your bending moment will have parabolic. Now here for uniformly varying load, your shear force is actually parabolic and the bending moment is one order higher, it is cubic. I hope you would have understood this very clearly. If you have any doubts, you contact me through my email or through my number which are given in the description. You can also use the comments box. You can leave a comment. I will try to reply or answer. Thank you.